Compass course made good, practice problem one. Determine the course per standard magnetic compass from Seabrook Shoal Buoy 9, then it gives you approximate latitude and longitude, to a position 0.2 miles south of Race Rock Light, approximate latitude and longitude, so you can find the point. So, first things first, let's find Seabrook Shoal Buoy 9. That's our starting point. And I happen to know where it is, and it happens to have some writing on it. It's good to erase any previous work that you've done. I would erase it so you don't get confused. You end up with a lot of starting and ending points. So here's Seabra Shoal. We use the center of the circle for the buoy. This is our start point. Okay, where's our end point? To a position 0.2 miles south of Race Rock Light. Race rock light. So here's race point, and here's race rock light. Flashes red every 10 seconds, 67 feet tall. You can see it from 19 nautical miles. Has a horn. I need to go 0.2 miles south, so I'll line up on a meridian, perfectly north and south. Walk over to race rock light, which is in the light list, if you can't find it. Strike a line. Take my dividers, and we'll look at 0.2 miles, good, and from race point, race rock lights, I'll make a mark, now this is 0.2 miles south of race rock light, this is our ending point. So from our start, which I labeled, Zebras, to race point, and now we need to find the course made good. So, put my pencil. You know, I'm going to walk it over here because it's more convenient. So I put my pencil in the ending point, put my parallel rules up, line it up with Zebra Shoal, which is my start. I'm going this way, remember. So I'll end up at the compass, going from the start this way. Walk it over to the compass. You know, I can use any compass. The reason I didn't use this one over here is one, because you can see my GoPro, which I use to control this, and two, because it's very hard to read. So I'm gonna use this bigger, more cleared out compass rose. And again, I'm going from start towards the finish. And now I'm going from the start, from the center of this compass toward my ending. Now it looks that I'm at 310, 11, 12. I'm a little closer to 313. So I'm going to say 313. And keep in mind, these problems, a lot of them are going to be plus or minus one degree. So you can't discard an answer that's only one degree away. So we're going to work this down because these are degrees true, right? This is 313 true. So I'm looking at, we go... T, V, M, D, C. Now, 313, 313 degrees true. Variation, we're always going to use 15 west on this chart. 328, 328. Now, we look at our deviation table, and we see 328 is very close to 330 which is 1.5 east. Now, I am going to round this. See how it's less than 330? I'm just gonna use one east because you'll end up rounding at the end of the problem anyway. So if it was any over 330, I would just, you're on your way to 360, I would use two east, but I'm under 330, so I'm gonna use one east. And we're going down, so we subtract three 27 degrees PSC. Now let's see which answer is closest to this. 327. So A. Hey, looks like we got it. A, 327. But just to make sure, we are going to check the answers. Answer number one is A. So the answer to Compass Course Made Good Practice Problem 1 is A, 327.